So next, we want to look at the calculations of pH value for a buffer action. In your previous example, questions 1, 2, 3, that is to calculate the pH value for a buffer solutions before anything happened. So in this case, we want to learn more about the buffer actions and its calculation. So first of all, you need to understand what it means by buffer action. A buffer action refer to the ability of this uh, solutions to resist the pH change upon additions of a small amount of strong acid or strong base. In other words, you can say that when a small amount of strong acid or strong base is added to a buffer solution, it will only have a very little changes in its pH value. To solve the problems or the calculations for the buffer actions, you need to first identify whether it is an acidic or basic buffer solution. Then you need to choose a correct henderson hazard equation. So again, in this case, for your buffer actions, it requires your ice table. Okay, it requires your ice tables again. So we will see um, how is it going. So in the first questions, 1a, calculate the pH of a buffer solutions of 0 0.20 molar CH3COOH and 0 0.30 CH3COONA. So this is a pH value similar like question 1, 2, 3 just now. So you just want to calculate the pH value. All right, so we do the calculations first. And if you look at the questions, we have the weak acid. Okay, we have the weak acid and we have the salt that contains the conjugate base. So this is an acidic buffer. So we are going to choose the equation pH equals to negative log Ka plus log. Uh, on the top, we have concentrations of the salt. And then we have the concentrations of your weak acid. So substitute the value negative log Ka 1.8 times 10 to the power of negative 5 plus log concentrations of the salt given is 0 0.30 and then concentrations for the acid 0 0.20. And you got the pH value of the buffer solutions equals to 4.92. Okay, so this is the acidic buffer solutions before anything is added. And then in your part B, determine the pH of one liter of the buffer solution um, after the additions of 0 0.01 mole of HCl, so a strong acid is added, but a very small amount. And then the second part for part B, B2, after the additions of 0 .2, uh, 0 0.02 mole of NaOH, a small amount of uh, strong base. So for B1, additions of 0 0.01 mole HCl, which is an acid. So you need to recall that in this question, you have an acidic buffer. So inside this buffer solutions, you contain the weak acid, uh, which is CH3COOH, and then you're containing a salt, uh, which is your CH3COONA. Don't forget that inside your salt, you actually containing this conjugate uh, base. Conjugate base also considered as a base. So in this case, we has we has we have the CH3COO negative, the conjugate base. So you need to think about adding the strong acid in a neutralization reactions. A base is going to neutralize the acid. Okay, acid base neutralizations. So in the solutions, you only got one choice. Oh, CH3COO minus is the base that's going to neutralize your HCl. The conjugate base CH3COO minus is used to neutralize the added HCl. So we need to write an equation. So adding HCl, so we're using the H plus equals. So this H plus is actually from your HCl. So HCl is neutralized by the conjugate base CH3COO negative. So this is a neutralization reaction, so it will be a single direction reaction, a re irreversible reaction. 
to produce CH3COOH aqueous. Okay, so this one is also an aqueous. So we are going to build out the ice table. We want to construct an ice table. Um, so for the ice table for buffer solution, for buffer action, we are using number of mole. So in this case, we have the initial mole, we have the change of mole, and then we have our final mole. Why I use final in this case is after the reaction is completed between the added acid HCl and your conjugate base. So neutralization reaction has already completed. And also the final roll over here, I just add in one more column, which is the final concentrations. So fill in accordingly into your ice table. So the number of mole of the HCl added, 0 0.01, which is already given in the questions. Number of mole equals to concentrations times with the volume in liter. Okay, and then the number of mole of this Conjugate base is the same as the salt. So we have 0 0.30, the concentration, times with its volume, 1 liter, which also gives you 0 0.30 mole. Same thing goes for the acid. The concentration is 0 0.20 times with 1 liter, give you 0 0.20 mole. You can straight away show a calculation inside the ice table. So now, the added acid over here uh, behave as a limiting reactant. So all the acid added will be completely used up. So the change in concentration, we finish everything for the HCl added. And then the reactant side for your conjugate base will also minus 0 0.01. And for your acid, it is behave as a product, so we are going to add 0 0.01. So this value, 0 0.01, will follow the amount or the number of mole of this H+. plus. So final mole of the H+, plus 0, and then concentrations also 0. And then for the number of mole of the conjugate base, now we only have 0 0.29. So convert back into concentration, 0 0.29 cons uh, number of mole divided by the volume, which is 1 liter. In this case, uh, because the volume is 1 liter, so it, it seems like everything looks exactly the same like concentration. But this uh, might be different if you have the volume 1.5, 2.0, and so on. Uh, so it's better for you to practice this way first. So it has the concentration, 0 0.29. And then for the acid over here, we got the final number of moles, 0 0.21. So the final concentration, 0 0.21 divided by 1 liter equals to 0 0.21 as well. All right, so we want to calculate the pH value after uh, the buffer action, or after the additions of HCl. So using back the same uh, henderson hazelberg equation, we just do the substitution. So negative log Ka, Ka value is still the same, 1.8 times 10 to the power of negative 5, plus log concentrations of the salt. So in this case, we are taking the concentrations from your ice table. Okay, so the salt concentrations, which is the same as the conjugate base, 0 0.29 over the concentrations of the weak acid, 0 0.21. And then the pH value after uh, the buffer actions give you 4.88. All right, so if you compare between the pH value of the acidic buffer solutions initially, so we have 4.92. And then after adding a small amount of strong acid, the pH value decreases a little bit. But then, the change is very little. If you look at this one, 4.92 minus 4.88, it only gives you the changes in pH value 0 0.04, which is considered very small. So 
we go back to the function or the definitions of buffer actions is to resist the pH change. So that means the pH change will be very small after the buffer action. So even though you add a strong acid, the, the pH change still will be very small. And then for part B, additions of 0.02 mole of NaOH, which is the strong base, into your um, acidic buffer solution just now. Okay, so we're still using the same buffer. So in the in this buffer, we have our weak acid, we have the conjugate base. So this conjugate base is actually from the salt, uh, which is your CH3COONA. But then you just uh, write the conjugate base on B. So you need to know that neutralization is between acid and base. So if it, it is added the strong base, therefore the weak acid is going to neutralize your NaOH. So we can say that the weak acid CH3COOH is used to neutralize the added NaOH. So the added NaOH, we are only using OH, OH minus. You want to use NaOH doesn't matter. You want to use OH negative also doesn't matter. Just make sure that you have a balanced equation. So this OH minus is from the NaOH. So it will neutralize by the weak acid CH3COOH aqueous solution. So neutralization process is a complete uh, reaction. So OH minus, we have as a base, which will accept a proton from the weak acid. So weak acid now become the conjugate base. So this proton being accepted by this OH minus. So OH minus accepting protons and then release a molecule of water. So now we want to construct the ice table. You might draw your table on your own. Yeah, we have initial number of mole, change in number of mole, and then final number of mole. And then add another column over here for concentration, final concentration. So we fill in the informations. OH minus uh, follow the concentrations of your NaOH, which in this case is 0 0.02. And then for the uh, for the number of mole of the acid, just now we also uh, calculated already. If you want to show it once again, no problem. So concentrations of uh, CH3COOH 0 0.2 times with 1 give you 0 0.2 mole. And then for the salt or the conjugate base, they share the same value. 0 0.3 times 1 gives you 0 0.3. And then for water, you just put a dash. Then the change in number of mole, OH negative. The adding uh, NaOH behave as the limiting reactant. So all of it will be reacted. So left with nothing. And then for the reactant side, the acid also will use out in this neutralization process. So it will minus 0 0.02. So 0 0.2 minus 0 0.02 gives you 0 0.18. And then since the volume is 1 liter, so we can find the final concentration. 0 0.18 mole divided by 1 liter gives you 0 0.18 molar. And then for the product side, the conjugate base or the salt, um, you need to plus because product will increase. So we plus 0 0.02 to give the final number of mole 0 0.32. So convert into the final concentration 0 0.32 divided by 1 liter, give you 0 0.32 molar. So now you have got the information, the concentrations of the weak acid and the concentrations of the conjugate base or the salt um, after the buffer action. So after all the added NaOH is completely neutralized, then we want to figure out the pH value. So pH equals to negative log Ka. Again, you want to rewrite this one, no problem. Otherwise, you can straight away do your substitution since you have already write this formula earlier. And then log concentrations of the salt follow the table. 0 0.32 for the salt or the conjugate base. And then the weak acid 0 0.18. And then the pH value in this case gives you 4.99. We go back to your previous um, 
or earlier pH value of this buffer, we got 4.92. And then in this case, after neutralize the added and AOH give you 4.99. So if we want to find the differences in the pH value, we use a bigger value 4.99 minus the initial value 4.92, which give you 0 0.07. So this is also a very a very small changes in pH value, and then this proves that uh, the functions of the buffer action you want to maintain or resist the pH changes. Question number two: First, calculate the pH of the solutions prepared by mixing fifty ml of two point zero zero molar hydrazinium chloride given the formula N two H five Cl with 2.50 molar of hydrazine and 2H4. So N2H5Cl, which containing the conjugate acid, N2H5+, plus, this is actually the salt or your conjugate acid. Whereas for your hydrazine, N2H4 is actually your weak base. So we know that this is a basic buffer solution as it containing weak base and the salt that containing conjugate acid. So in order to calculate the pH value, we first using um, the equation for this buffer solution. POH equals to negative log Kb. POH Kb, I remember POH negative log Kb plus log concentrations of the salt on the top and 2H5Cl over the concentrations of the base and 2H4. So substitute the values of Kb, 1.7, 10 to the power of negative 6. Substitute the values of concentration salt, which is uh, 2.00, and the base we have 2.50. So the pH value over here gives you 5.67. You may try to calculate the value, see whether we got the same value, 5.67. So convert into the pH value using 14 minus 5.67 to give you value of 8.33. So this say that this basic buffer solution initially has, uh, has the pH value of 8.33. Then the next question say, calculate the new pH of this buffer after the additions of 20 ml of 0 0.1 molar and AOH, the strong base, and after additions of 50 ml of 0 0.1 uh, molar HCl, the strong acid. So different from the question number one, now it is given you the volume and the concentrations. That means we need to find the number of mole of the added NaOH and the number of mole of your added acid. So for the first case, 2A, additions of NaOH. So we know that NaOH is a base, so it will react with an acid. So in this solution, in this basic buffer, you will contain an acid, which is conjugate acid. So N2H5 plus is going to neutralize the added NaOH. So we draw the equations first. So the adding NaOH, we're using the OH negative aqueous plus with the conjugate acid. So a neutralization reaction, a base and acid. So OH minus is going to accept one proton to produce the H2O liquid. Then the conjugate acid, uh, N2H5+, plus, will donate the protons. So it becomes N2H4 again. All right, since the I stable, we are going to use number of mole. You may also choose to calculate the number of mole first before you want to fill in uh, your I stable. So the number of mole of our NaOH added. Um, 0 0.1 the concentrations times with the volume 0 0.02 which is converted into uh, little we give you 0 0.002 mole and don't forget about uh, the number of mole of our uh, salt or the conjugate acid 
which we have 2.00 molar times 0.050, the volume uh, which is given in the questions. So over here, 50 milliliters mils, and then for the salt, we have 2 molar. Okay, so from here, you need to calculate the number of mole. All right, so number of mole of the salt or the conjugate acid, which gives you 0 0.1 mole. And then the number of mole of the weak base, and 2 h 4 you have 2.50 molar. And then the volume is the same, since only one volume is given in the questions above, initially. So the number of mole of the weak base equals to 0 0.125 mole. So using the information given over here, fill in the ice table. So the number of mole OH minus 0 0.002. Number of mole of the conjugate acid or the salt, 0 0.1. We make the decimal places the same in the table. And N2H4, we got the number of mole, 0 0.125. Nothing for H2O. So NaOH, the OH minus, behave as the limiting reactant. So we will use up everything for this OH minus. Similarly for the reactant. The conjugate acid 0.002. And then for the product side N2H4, it will increase in the number of mole. So we add 0.002. So find the final number of mole over here. All the added NaOH is completely reacted. Left with the final number of mole for this conjugate acid 0.098. And then the N2H4 gives you 0 0.127. So now you want to figure out the final concentration. Okay, we want to figure out this final concentration. So of course, we are going to use the number of mole divided by the volume. But which volume are we going to use? So over here, we know that initially you have 50 milliliter of your basic buffer solution. You now you're adding another 20 mils of this uh, sodium hydroxide. So 20, 50 give you a new total volume, okay, equals to 70 milliliter, which if you want to convert equals to 0 0.07 liter. So now in the table straight away using number of mole that you have found 0 0.098 divided by the new volume 0 0.07 give you the final concentrations equals to 1.40. And for the weak base 0 0.127 divided by the new total volume 0 0.07 give you the new final concentration. 1.81. So now we want to calculate the pH value. Okay, pH value. So using the values that you have found over here and then substitute into the Henderson Hazard equation. So pOH minus equals to negative log Kb plus log concentrations of your salt, or you can also write the, uh, the formula for the conjugate acid over the weak base and then do your substitution my and minus log a negative log uh, 1.7 the kb value plus log we just fill in the information given so conjugate acid now we have 1.40 and then the base the weak base we have 1.81 using the one in the ice table and then poh value give you 5.66 and pH value, 14 minus 5.66 gives you 8.34. So you may see initially the pH value is 8.33. This is uh, initial uh, pH value for the basic buffer before adding anything. Uh, so after you're adding strong base, it just increase a little bit to 8.34. So buffer solution resists pH change. All right, so for part B, additions of 15 mL of 0 0.1 molar HCl. So again, in your basic buffer solution, we have weak base N2H4, we have conjugate acid N2H5 positive. 
So HCl is going to neutralize by the weak base. All right, so we calculate the number of mole of the added HCl using 0.1 concentrations times with the volume in liters 0 .1, 0 0.015 equals to 0 0.0015 mole. So the number of mole of the conjugate acid and the weak base is still the same. And we can also figure out the new total volume, in this case, 50 uh, initial buffer solution, the volume, plus with 15, 50 plus 15 gives you 65 milliliter. And then you may stand by that, con convert into liter first. So we know the reactions is between acid and base. So the added HCl, we're using H plus, uh, H plus. It will react with the weak base and 2H4 aqua solution. So neutralization is a complete reaction, and it is going to produce N2H5+. If you want to write HCl, no problem as well. So you're going to form N2H5Cl. So it depends on how you write your equation, just to make sure it is balanced. And then in your ice table, we fill in the information. So number of mole of HCl or H plus 0 0.0015. And then for the weak base, 0 0.125. And then for the conjugate acid, 0 0.100, according to the information over here. So HCl behave as a limiting reactant, so all of them will be reacted, left with nothing. And then the base N2H4 will minus 0 0.0015 to give you the value 0 0.1235. For the conjugate acid, it will add 0 0.0015 as it is the product. And the final number of mole give you 0 0.1015. So to calculate your final concentration using number of mole, divide by the new volume after adding HCl, 0 0.065. So the concentration of the weak base, 1.90. The concentrations of your conjugate acids equals to 1.56. So using the same formula, POH equals to negative log KB. So I can straight away do substitution. Concentration of the salt on the top or the conjugate acid on the top the weak base on the bottom, 1.90, which is getting from the value of your ice table. So please pay attention to the correct uh, values that you are taken. So follow uh, the formula. So finally, you get your pH value equals to 5.68, and then convert into pH to get 8.32. So if you still remember, initially we have the pH value 8.33. And then now, after adding strong acid, you got 8.32. So a very small changes in pH value. All right, so take notes on the calculation steps. And here is the full questions number two. All right, so you need to do more practice on this buffer actions. I know it is complicated, therefore you need to revise, look back at the notes, look at the examples, and then try some questions. So there is exercise four, there's five questions, and this question number six and seven is the addition questions. It's not in the previous notes. You might need to copy down question number six and seven. Okay, so try question 1, 2, 3, and 5. Might as well just try everything. Uh, and then we will discuss this one. And if you have any problems, please ask it during our tutorial class. Alright, so that's all for this video. I'll see you again soon.